In the last video, I showed you how to find the LU decomposition of a matrix A. A is some n by n matrix. Um, what's the purpose of that type of decomposition? Well, if you want to solve AX equals B, you have to do Gaussian elimination the first time, right? But let's say you have a lot of different Bs. You might have something like 10,000 Bs. Why do you have to keep doing Gaussian elimination over and over again? So you use the LU decomposition and you solve LU x equals b if you need to do it multiple times. That would only be beneficial if it's faster computationally to, do, to solve LU x equals b than AX equals b. And to give you an idea if there's like 10,000 different right-hand sides, it will be about 10,000 times faster to solve uh, LUX equals B than to solve AX equals B. So computationally, this is a very, val a very uh, valuable decomposition of the matrix. So what I want to show you here is a simple three by three case, continue what we were working on in the last video, and show you how you solve LUX equals B. So we're solving this LUX equals B. To solve this, we do something uh, sort of a trick, is that we put a parentheses over ux, okay? So we're going to define a new variable here. So we're going to let a new variable y equal to this u times x. So remember, u is three by three matrix, x is three by one column vector, y then is also a three by one column vector. So what happens if we let this ux be y? Then we need to solve uh, l times y equals b for y, for this new column vector y. So the l is known, b is known, so we can solve that for y. Once we solve this for y, then we proceed to solve um, y is u times x, we know y now, so we solve u times x equals y for x. And that's what we want to find, right? We want to solve for x. Okay, uh, why is this fast? This is fast because L is lower triangular and u is upper triangular. So let me show you then how that will work. So first we want to solve Ly equals to uh, B. Okay, what are the equations Ly equals B? So it's L, here's our matrix L, times the column vector Y1, Y2, Y3 is equal to B. Here is our matrix B. So I think we can uh, write down the equations. So the first equation is the first row. So it's simply uh, y1 equals b1, right? So y1 equals minus one. Let me leave some space for y2 and y3. Okay, so that's the first row of the equation. Um, the second row of the equation is minus two times y1 plus y2. And the right-hand side here is minus seven, the second row of B. And then the third equation is minus one times Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 minus Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 equals the last um, row of B is minus six, okay? So this is the um, system of equations to solve Ly equals B. Uh, lower triangular. So you solve this by a method called forward substitution. Okay? Before we learned about back substitution. Substitution when you have a um, upper triangle, uh, 
a upper triangular matrix. Now for a lower triangular matrix, it's the other direction, so we call it forward substitution. So we have y1 equals minus 1. The second equation we solve for y2. So what is, uh, let me use uh, the other color ink. So y2 is equal to 2y1 minus 7. Y1 we know is minus 1, so minus 2 minus 7 is minus 9. And then Y3 is equal to Y1 minus Y2 minus 6. Y1 and Y2 we know, so minus 1 um, plus 9 is um, 8, minus 6 is 2, okay? So that was minus 1, um, minus y2 is minus 9, so minus 1 minus minus 9 is, uh, sorry, <laughs> plus 8 minus 6 is 2. So I have to check my math, otherwise uh, we're going to go into the abyss. Okay, so that was Ly equals B. So the next step then is to solve Ux equals Y for X. Okay. So what are the equations uh, for Ux equal to Y? So now we know Y, right? Uh, sorry, they're in different colors. Y1, Y2, and Y3. Okay, so now we're, we're going to use the Y's to solve UX equals Y. So uh, here's the U equation. So this is starting from the, uh, the top equation. We have minus 3X1 plus 2X2 minus X3 equals y1 is minus 1. Then the uh, second row of this equation is minus 2x2 plus 5x3 equals y2, which is minus 9. And then the last row is minus 2x3 equal to y3, which is Two. Okay, so now we do back substitution, right? So we start at the bottom and go up. So we've got here, let me use this color, x3 equals minus 1. And then the second equation becomes x2 equals minus 1 half. And then we have minus 5x3 minus 9. Um, that's going to be plus 5 minus 9 is minus 4. Minus 4 divided by minus 2 is 2. And then the last one, x1, is going to be minus 1 third. And then we have uh, minus 2x2 plus x3 minus 1. And we know x2 and x3, so we have minus 4, minus 1, minus 5, minus 1, minus 6, divided by minus 3 gives us 2. Okay? Uh, that's our solution. So, um, I can write the final solution here, x1, x2, x3 then is given by this vector uh, 2, 2, minus 1. Okay, so what is the takeaway here? So probably doesn't look very easy to do this, right? I'm making mistakes, I'm getting confused. 
but it's not really the, a matter of how easy it is for me to do this by hand. It's a matter of how fast a computer can do this. And a computer, you can program a computer to do this much, much faster than solving AX equals B. Okay? So that's why this is a uh, useful algorithm. So let me recap. To solve, L, to solve LUX equals B, you let Y equals UX, and then you solve LY equals B first for Y. This is uh, solved using forward substitution. And then you solve UX equals Y for X. That one's solved using backward substitution. And then you determine the solution. A very fast algorithm, a very useful decomposition. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.